What is going on? What is going on, Cancer Tribe? Welcome, my dear loves. We are back, back, back for yet another general message. Ooh, child, we a little off. Okay. I do pray that these messages find each and every one of you guys viewing in the best of health and spirit, my dear Cancers. It feels like it has been forever, but I've been needing to get some rest, catch up on my class assignments, okay? Well, not necessarily catch up, but just staying on top of things, getting close to the end of this particular, uh, I guess, quarter. And so shit is requiring a lot more of my attention. Let's put it like that. <laughs> These essays getting ridiculous. Okay. They essaying around here. Um, also personal readings, honey, and trying to stay on top of those of y'all who sent in for the Q&A. So I apologize for the delay in getting these messages out for y'all lately. I feel like I haven't been being as consistent as I could be. I just ask that spirit help you, girl, child. I'm only one person. But welcome, my cancers. I thank y'all so very much in advance for all of your patience, for all of your love and support, and for just continuing to rock with the channel, rock with your girl. I appreciate you guys more than you know, honey. Anywho, I do pray that these messages find each of you guys upon viewing in the best of health and spirit cancer how was the solar eclipse did any of you guys watch yesterday did you catch it honey how has things been unfolding for you what are your intentions that you guys have been setting oh lord child what's up with all the wind oh my Why is it like a storm outside? <laughs> that blew the window closed. All right, I pop. Ooh. Child, that would have been good. I apologize for that, y'all. The wind was just doing a lot just now, honey. But what was I saying? I do pray the messages find each of you guys in the best of health and spirit. Health and spirit upon viewing. And without any further ado, let's get into these messages. That's what I was asking. What are your intentions, Cancer? We got to make sure that we're utilizing the energies. Um wisely you guys so definitely be intentional during this time what is like your thoughts because i do feel like you're having to be aware of whatever energy you're putting out as well as protective of over your energy during this time so what intentions are you setting for yourself 
If you feel like sharing, feel free to share, honey, or just this is a good question to ask for yourself. You know what I mean? Maybe even a good journal prompt for some of you guys, but take that how it resonates. Stacy, welcome to the live. Welcome to the live. 2024 Rich is in the building. Tevin is in the house. Goddess K, the chosen one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Elizabeth, welcome, welcome, welcome to the live transformation queen. Andrew is in the building. Elevate yourself. Clarence, welcome to Mika. Sharon is in the house. All is definitely well, honey. I just, like I said, been needing to catch up on a lot of things and just rest in child whenever I can. Mr. Austin, what is good? Welcome to the live. Kathy in the building. Tiffany's Choice Gang Gang, what is good? Tamika, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm feeling much better, honey. I think you're probably talking about from the last time. That your girl was a little sick. Um, that was a while ago now, though. <laughs> I'm doing good. Uh, the power in me counseling the chosen one. Okay. Counseling specifically geared towards adolescence and adolescent behavior. Um, who else? Hold on. The power in me. Theodora. Welcome, welcome, welcome. S. Steel. <laughs> oh, Denise. Welcome, Denise, to the live. I was out during the eclipse and the energy from it was heavy. My sight has changed while being exposed to that type of energy. It had it was a purple haze. Oh wow. As if it had as if I had shades on. Interesting, honey. They say that. You're not really supposed to look at the solar eclipse, child, for many different reasons. Taha is in the building, and I hope that you're feeling better. I hope that your sight returns back to normal, honey. Yeah, y'all, don't forget to like the video. Suave, what's up, what's up? I'm doing good. How are you? Shout out to Memphis in the building. 21 in the house. I love it. China, okay. <laughs> Larry is in the building. What is good? I also soaked it in outdoors, period. You could feel the energy radiating off you. Wow. Taylor May, welcome to the live. All right, y'all. 333 three, three could be significant. We just had 33 viewers and 31 likes. So 333 three, three could be significant for some of y'all in the sense that spirit is just letting you know that I am here. I am near. I am supporting you in all endeavors, Cancer. That's what your angels and your guides, your soul team, your ancestors want you to know. Let's get some more on the board and see what else Spirit has. Michaela, the name Michaela could be significant. All right, Spirit, what's going to be our first message for Cancer? We got the tree here, and it says, let them go, Cancer. Some of you guys, there's something that you're having to let go of. I'm not going to take this one because it is face down, but this one is face up with the universe message. Number 31 could be significant for someone viewing. You may be 31 years old or turning 31 this year. Some of you guys could have a child that's 18 years old or could be turning 18 this year. 2018 could also have been significant for some of you guys. Take that how it resonates. 
We are all just stardust. I'm also hearing the universe is on your side. Not as soon as I said that, I thought about that nationwide commercial again, y'all. Y'all know that stay coming in my mind. But can I get somebody to type that the universe is on my side, honey? Some of you guys could be a disassociating uh, currently. You know, this energy has been a little bit much okay it has been a bit much honey so maybe some of you guys have been kind of like detaching detaching from your feelings however you are doing it cancer take it how it resonates just a lot of disassociating going on you could feel a lot of i want to say like loopy some of you guys could be 41 or turning 41 this year. We got number 41 on the board with the sundress message. Some of y'all getting summertime fine. You ready for them for them sundresses, huh? Sundress season. Okay, Cancer. Getting that body snatched for others of you, you know, for those of you who are like hitting the gym. Same difference for my masculines, but the opposite in the sense of sundresses. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some of y'all could be looking forward to seeing the feminine energies out this summer. We got witch justice is coming, Cancer number 27. Interesting because I was going to originally make the thumbnail. Um, I was hearing coming soon. So the thumbnail had that in it originally coming soon, right? But I changed it because you could barely see it <laughs> uh, behind the Cancer. Uh, title on the thumbnail so i just switched it up but justice is coming in something is coming rather quickly towards you i'm hearing amanda and samantha both of those names could be significant for someone take it how it resonates cancer you could be 27 years old or turning 27 this year. Some of you guys could be born July 18th. July 31st could be significant or April 18th, April 31st, April 27th. Those are dates for you to look out for. Some of you could be born on June 27th. Take that how it resonates. Somebody could be born in 1981. If that is your birth year, honey, tap in. If your birthday hits the table, tap in. If any of these dates are significant for you, make sure to come back to this reading and clarify or confirm down below in the comments. Some of you could be 33 years old. We got this energy of nostalgia. And that's kind of what I was getting at with the loopy. Uh, we got a lot of things that are floating around in Piscean waters in the sky right now. So some of you guys, it's like spirit is saying just vibe. That's what I'm hearing. You may be in an energy where it's like you're... Um, you know how sometimes you're trying to force things to work, force things to happen. Maybe you're not really feeling like doing much and you're trying to force yourself to do things. And spirit is just like, you know, just vibe right now, Cancer. There's a lot of vibey energy. I'm even hearing groovy for some reason. Ooh, sorry about the noise, y'all. But definitely um, needing to just allow yourself to vibe out, uh, relax is another thing that I'm getting. And just chill, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's not about you trying to force things into play, force things to happen for you in certain ways. It's about learning how to release, let go, and just allow. So I definitely feel like allowance is definitely important for many of you guys during this time. And it says focus on the here and the now. Some of you... You hear them honks, child. I feel like that's confirmation. I don't know if y'all can hear it. It's loud enough, honey. But um, the honks is like spirit is confirming the message. And look at that 33. You may be 33, as I said earlier, or turning 33. And then we got 33 and 31. If I'm not mistaken, that's literally what I said when I was like, we got 30 people. 
33 people in the live and 31 likes. So that's where I got the 333 from. That is amazing that it has hit the table the way that it has. And I switched them. That's the wrong order. Um, some of you guys could be getting your natal chart pulled. I'm kind of picking up on natal chart energy. You may be pulling your natal chart. You may be doing some research into your chart during this time. For those of y'all watching, as a matter of fact, can you drop below in the comments or in the chat if you're in the live? Where is your Aries placement, honey? Um, is it your sun? You're like a personal planet or is it falling in one of your houses? Let me know. I'm interested in, in knowing that, Cancer. Um, we got the sword number seven, July 7th. Could be your birthday, Cancer, if you are watching. Some of you guys could be a life path number seven. Or you could have a child that's seven years old or turning seven this year. Take it how it resonates, but make the change. And we talked about rapid changes. Rapid change is taking place overnight. I feel like your life is changing before your eyes. It's giving Things will never be the same, Cancer, but this is not giving me any type of energy like fear, fear-based energy, okay? So don't be afraid of the change. Embrace the change. In fact, if you are in the energy where you're embracing change in your life, drop it in the comments. For those of y'all catching the playback, drop it down below in the comments below. Uh, I'm saying drop it in the chat for those of y'all in the live. <laughs> I am open to embracing change, okay? July 19th could be your birthday. Some of you may have a child that's 19. 2019 could also be significant, but Spirit is saying surround yourself with love. I feel like this is also Spirit's way of letting you know that you are already surrounded by love, Cancer. You're surrounded by loved ones, specifically friends, people that you can trust and rely on or this is your divine soul team honey because a lot of times you guys feel like i don't have anyone you see how she looks in this card it's just like i don't have anyone to be there for me it's always me that i have to rely on some of you may even be feeling like you need a little bit extra support right now prayer love whatever the case may be i would say definitely reach out to those once again that you do have when it comes to friends or family um reach out to your soul team cancer just because you may not have a physical representation of quote unquote a friend or a family member that you can rely on that you can trust it doesn't mean that you don't have that when it comes to your soul team so you don't want to overlook the support that you have by focusing on the support that you do not have okay don't focus on what you don't have in this moment and some of y'all just throwing it out out there if you are looking to be able to talk to someone you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to honey friends family i do offer phone counseling services now if you would like to book that child you just click on the link above um just make sure i don't know cancer that's just an option i'm not trying to force anybody to book trust me <laughs> um but it is an option that is available and many of you have reached out about that in the past so there you go i digress let's go ahead and hop into some first of all let's read some of these from the book because i would like to know what spirit has to say when it comes to the message from the book okay you often take on the pain of others, Cancer. Mm, mm, mm. And you used to think that it was because you're an empath. But these days, you might not be so sure. Sometimes it feels like other people are emptying their emotions into you and giving nothing in return. 
sometimes we even feel we've inherited pain from those who come before us in our family tree. This is your permission to let go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to carry for them. So let go and release. And that's taking me back to the message that I was talking about, how you have to really protect your energy during this time, Cancer. Set healthy boundaries between your energy, like protecting your energy from the energy of other people around you because you can have a lot of people that are trying to dump their problems their issues um sometimes it, it's a matter of what you do for work where you are um you just got to know how to separate what it is that is going on with other people in your life versus what's going on in your life cancer don't don't take on other people's uh, baggage in this moment. We got number 31 here with the universe message that says when we're children, we can barely comprehend the vastness of our own lives, let alone the existence of other planets. It's not long before we learn we aren't the center of the universe. We are but specks of stardust in one of its many skies. However, we must all still do our part to take care of our own individual worlds or else it throws everything else off balance. I love how these are kind of piggybacking off of one another, but don't forget the big picture. Recycle, don't litter, and give thanks, Cancer. So always make sure that you're in an energy of gratitude. I definitely feel like you're going to be sending out a lot of thanks, a lot of gratitude to the divine, to God, to spirit, to your angels, your guides, your ancestors, because what's coming in for you, I'm hearing are miracles, child. You could be receiving many tiny miracles. Some of you, these are large miracles. Others of you, this is a combination of both, okay? And then we have the sundress message once again, and you must be thankful for the little things just as much as the big things child don't overlook something because you feel like oh that's small that's a tiny victory you got to be thankful for all victories no matter the size you know what i mean and when it comes to healing and recovery make sure that you're doing it for yourself and not for somebody else becoming too dependent on other people will only end in disappointment People leave, honey. Friends drift. Family members become estranged. Your reason needs to be bigger than them. And believe it or not, you are important enough to be that reason for change. So, Cancer, with all of this right now, it's kind of making me think that some of you guys could be feeling like you don't know which way to go feeling maybe even defeated by certain circumstances. Some of you have had a lot of hardship over the past years, okay? Um, I'm going to say the past 15 to 20 year cycle has definitely been one that you might feel like, shit, my life has changed so drastically. I've had so many different new beginnings for the last 15 to 20 years. If you think back, you know, up to 15 years ago, what was your life like? Let's go as far back as 20 years ago. What was your life like? How many different changes? How many times have the people changed in your life? You know what I'm saying? The storylines, what things have you had to release and let go of? And not only that, the things that you have welcomed in, right? So at the end of the day, sometimes when you feel like, man, when, when is things going to change for the better? And like, change in the sense where you're not constantly going through change after change. You're looking for change, but a change that's going to actually stick around. You know what I'm saying? Like when things are going well, can I get some, some 
uh, time with shit going the right way in my life? You know what I'm saying? Can I get some years of that versus years of trauma, years of transformation after transformation? But spirit is saying that sometimes, especially when you are on a spiritual journey, you're healing cancer, you have to understand that it takes time to change your mentality, the way you perceive the world, the pain that you go through and the way you even perceive that. When you are looking at painful situations and your goal is, I want this to be over. I'm ready for release. I'm ready for some relief spirit. That means that you're begging for your comfort zone. Nine times out of 10, you're looking for something specifically that you already are accustomed to that's going to bring you comfort. And that is why you keep going through the transformation. You keep going through the change because spirit is trying to get you to let go of your comfort zone. And I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely stepping out of your comfort zone. You're going to find yourself stepping more out of that energy of whatever is comfortable for you. Even in the sundress card, I'm paying attention to it's snowing outside around her, but she in a goddamn sundress. Now, that can't be comfortable. I know she cold, right? But this, to me, is symbolic of the fact that, Cancer, you are stepping out of whatever has brought comfort. Some of you are releasing certain coping mechanisms that haven't been uh, positive, conducive to your healing. Some of you, these could be connections to people that you have become dependent upon to bring in happiness, right? And now you're finding that happiness, finding freedom, finding comfort within yourself. The lavender card, surround yourself with love, is making me think of comfort, just being in the comfort of your own skin. That could be a change that you're making within your life. Why is the tree message here? I'm getting you're stepping into a new cycle, Cancer. And this will be a cycle that is going to last you for the next 15 to 20 years. Okay. Some of you definitely come from broken families, broken homes. You feel like you haven't had much stability in the past. And I'm saying that because the four of, four of wands kind of like when it flipped out, it hit my chin. <laughs> Slap me in the face, child, and flipped in the reverse. Ten of cups. Why is the universe here? King of cups. I'm going to put us in the frame in just a moment, y'all. What else on this universe for cancer? Okay, Miss Queen of Wands. Why is the sundress message here for cancer? 222 two, two could be significant for some of you guys. Definitely feel like you're coming in alignment with something here. Flash. Some of y'all seeing flashing lights or taking pictures. I'm going to take the Six of Swords. Give me a second. Let's see what this was that flew on the floor. The Three of Pentacles also came out. To me, that is your soul team. All right, y'all can see the whole board. This is your soul team. This is support. Some of you, these are these random opportunities, random opportunities to work with new people, random uh, opportunities when it comes to work, your resources. That's, that's the rapid change that's also entering into your life right now. Bottom of the deck, we have the six of cups. Some of you guys, this is something from your past 
that's re-emerging. It could be someone or something. Some of you, this might just simply be releasing certain things from the past when it comes to mentalities, behaviors, right? Trust issues. You might find that if you got a lot of trust issues when it comes to the people that you encounter, a lot of times it can also signify trust issues when it comes to the divine, when it comes to trusting in your soul team. And spirit just is like, can you allow yourself to give me a chance? That's really what I feel is uh, being asked of you. One second. spirit is saying like utilize your free will to trust in the divine if that makes sense to you sometimes we don't give ourselves enough credit we don't give divine enough credit and spirit is like if you can just put your faith and your trust in trusting in me give me your free will right and watch what i do with it because i don't feel like the divine is in the energy of letting you down cancer you're showing up as the queen of wands which means that you're very magnetic right now and it's like whatever it is that you whatever intentions you put out into the world that's what you're manifesting if that makes sense child so if you if you are thinking the same ways in which maybe you've thought in the past, distrust, focusing on what you don't have, feeling alone, feeling isolated, feeling helpless. You're aligning yourself with more experiences that are going to go along with that frequency that you're on. So the, the trick is learning how to utilize your power and your power is your mind your power is your attention it's what you choose to give your attention to cancer i really hope that that's making sense for you spirit is saying right now you may not even see the bulk of abundance that the divine has for you spirit just wants to give you miracle after miracle blessing after blessing can i get somebody to type that in the chat spirit wants to give me miracle after miracle honey god wants to bless you with miracle after miracle your angels, your support team when it comes to your spiritual team wants to see you win repeatedly, cancer. But they like, I want you to want to win. I want you to be able to see yourself as a winner. Think about all the things that are in Aries right now. Spirit says your task, your goal, your challenge is to be able to remain confident no matter what is supposed to be a so-called obstacle in front of you. No matter what may step on your path. No matter who is going to step on your path. They are no match for the divine. Mm, mm, mm. Spirit is basically saying that no one and no thing can touch you, Cancer. Can I get you to type? Nothing can touch me. No one can touch me because they can't. Nobody is going to be able to stop this, what's coming in for you. And spirit is like, I just need your faith. I just need your trust. Sixty-nine likes. That's how you know it's real. That's cancer. That's how you know it's for you, Cancer. Bottom of the deck, the lovers, very magnetic. 
some of y'all releasing a karmic connection others of you you've already released karmic connections okay some of y'all could be saying shit i've been releasing karmic connections for years now <laughs> period cancer doing what you gotta do and i pray that spirit continues to give you the strength the wisdom the capability to let go of the things that you know are not good for you okay some of y'all this is also your comfort zone now that I'm saying the things that you know are not good for you, sometimes it's a person. You know that damn person ain't no good for you, but it's comfortable. You know them. It's familiar. So you keep yourself stuck to the situation. Some of y'all, this a job. Some of y'all, this a family dynamic. Some of y'all, these are just mentalities. It's easier to think pessimistically than it is to have faith in yourself, to be confident within oneself, to be confident in your intuition, to be confident in God who you cannot see. Spirit is saying also, you see me every day you look at yourself in the mirror. Mm. So we say we don't see God, we don't see the divine, but you look at yourself daily and that is what you, that, that is the God within you can you look at yourself and see the god that vibrates within you or are you blind to it cancer no you are not if you are it's time to take a deeper look take a look it's in a book <laughs> read a rainbow <laughs> okay i mean some of y'all could be reading child maybe you reading more but i'm thinking about some damn reading rainbow some of y'all that is paying homage to your childhood. You could be doing a lot of like reminiscing about things when you were a child. Um, maybe you're seeing things that remind you of when you were a child, right? On television, on your timelines, when it comes to your social media outlets, platforms, something like that, child. Some of y'all could have been a child that was like a bookworm. You read a lot. And some of y'all may want to start back reading. Maybe this is something like, you know how you reflect on things like, man, I used to do this. I used to work out so much. I used to do, I used to read more. I used to whatever. And you're like, I want to get back to that place. I want to start doing that again. That could be something that you're thinking of, Cancer. And Spirit is saying, if that's what you want to do, then do it. Okay, Nike, just do it, honey. Gemini energy could be significant. Some of y'all could be receiving a stable love offer from a Gemini. Others of you are releasing a Gemini because this could be somebody that's not healthy for you. Some of you, a Gemini could be sending you some money, child. <laughs> I don't know. Gemini energy is mercurial. So we're talking Mercury. Um, Mercury is the planet over communications, travel, mail. Some of y'all receiving some correspondence important news or communication in regards to finances you're very attractive i feel like you're receiving maybe you're receiving some sort of uh payout from the government some of y'all this could be um damn what is the word that i'm looking for a deposit into your bank account honey that's what I'm getting. Once again, I feel like mercury energy also governs like banks, transactions, okay? Banking institutions. So some of you guys are receiving, I'm even hearing anonymous uh, deposits, child. What, what the hell going on? Mm, that's your business, cancer. I don't know. That sounds good though, honey. <laughs> anonymous deposits or it's like you don't know where this money is coming from it's just something that's happening surprisingly oh matter of fact can you be open to surprises 
I feel like you guys got to be open to the element of surprise with everything going on in the ethers as well. If you are open to the element of surprise, can I get you to type it in the chat? For those catching the playback, type it in the comments. I am open to the element of surprise. Some of you are being introduced to something new. Oh, come on, spirit. Y'all see the sun right there? You're being introduced to something new or someone new. And this is going to be taking place within the next over the next six months span as well, Cancer, because what you got to understand, we just had a solar eclipse yesterday. The solar eclipse, it, you're not going to see all the changes literally on the day of the eclipse or leading up to the eclipse immediately after the eclipse. The effects will start to take place in your life and you're going to see these changes over the next six months span of time but i'm telling you these are positive changes positive surprises that are coming your way cancer you're literally glowing honey this is happiness this is joy this is fulfillment this is also trust to me in the divine that governs you the divine entity, the divine spirit that governs you. Some of you spirit is saying you're going to receive some good news within the next one to two days. <laughs> well, damn. Okay. The next one to two days, you're receiving some good news, Cancer. Some of you spirit is like, I know you ready to move forward. I'm not taking that. Look at how they just landed on my hand like this, child. Oh, my God. And we got double majors, the high priestess and the judgment. Something pertaining to like a, a institution. This could be a school. Somebody, maybe this a refund check. Okay. If you're in school or... This could be, like I said, a, a government deposit, maybe your taxes. If you've been waiting on a tax return, child, some of y'all may not have even filed your taxes yet. And you're like, oh, I'm about to. I got to beat that deadline, child. Okay, you could be getting something like that. Or this is some sort of payout in regards to a job. It's kind of making me also think of like retirement. So some of you guys could definitely be retiring um, Spirit is saying that you're receiving a call, you're receiving communication, good news, and all you got to do is trust that positive change is on your side. Trust that this call, this news is coming in. Whatever prayers been sending up, there's a prayer that's being answered, but you got to be confident the sun that spirit is going to deliver because that's what's going to attract it to you i hope that that's making sense A new 20-year cycle of blessings and rewards. What's the Ten of Cups? Can I get you the type? I'm beginning a new 20-year cycle of blessings and rewards. That's what you don't even see. That's what you don't even see right now, Cancer. And honestly, I feel like with the sun being here, the sun is like I'm magnifying all of this. So it's like the blessings are being magnified. 
multiplied upon, child. For those of y'all watching the playback, can I get you to type that into the comments? The next 20 year cycle, or I'm beginning a 20 year cycle of blessings and rewards. Yes. What's this four of wands? The spirits say this is only the beginning. Get ready to receive more because there's more where that came from. Queen of Cups, receiving. This is the love of the divine showering down upon you. Some of y'all have definitely had to trust in the divine, trust in the element of the unknown because you've had to let go of things, people, circumstances that you loved with the Queen of Cups being here. But you had to make a decision for your ultimate highest good, for your health. Just because you love somebody, if they're toxic, if they're not healthy to the love that you have for them or to your growth, they're not beneficial to you in the long run, you got to be willing to let go and walk away. That, that takes a lot of strength, Cancer. Spirit is letting you know that you are capable of doing this for those of you having a hard time with making a decision because the judgment did show up. So somebody definitely has a decision to make. And a large part of that decision is stepping up out of La La Land and stepping into the reality of whatever it is that you're connecting yourself to or whoever you're connecting yourself to. Others of you being that this is falling in the past position, you've already been doing this. This has already been done. What's the let, let them go message in this tree? Some of y'all that even been letting go like slowly but surely, child. People have been being eclipsed out of your damn life for quite some time. Family, friends, lovers, husbands, wives, whatever, they got to go. Slowing you down, holding you back. You're, you're saying, I refuse to slow down my growth anymore. Just to hold on to people who, yes, I may love them, but it's not healthy for me. They're slowing me down. They're breadcrumbing. They're playing games. I'm even hearing they all about the money, child. I don't know. Some of y'all was dealing with people who was all about money, materialistic gain. Some of y'all dealing with people or were dealing with people that's all about image. They care too much about what other people think. And you, you like, mm -mm, I ain't with it. Because if it ain't making me happy, I'm not going to pretend. Pfft. What's the queen of wands? I thought it was going to flip, child. I don't know what it was. Duncan. Somebody's last name could be Duncan. I'm not taking those. What's the Queen of Wands here for? What is that? Seven of Cups. Six of Cups. Some of you, there's a fire sign re-entering into your life. Some of you specifically, this could be a feminine fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sag. Others of you... Spirit is asking you to take a look at your past and find the courage as the Queen of Wands to face the things that maybe you didn't have the courage to face within yourself before. This is about finding your courage, finding your confidence, finding your power, Cancer. I promise you that's what this energy is all about. 
That's what spirit is trying to set you up for. Spirit said where you're headed, past mentalities, past behaviors, it can't come with you, Cancer. You have to leave it where it's at. Some of y'all could be looking for a new job. If you are, you about to find one. Okay, so I'm hearing new hires. Some of y'all may be working on the job and maybe you got new people coming on the job. If this isn't you, you could have new co-workers or like a new boss. They done hired a new um, supervisor, management team, something like that. King of Cups. Spirit say, ask for what you want and trust, have faith that whatever you ask for is coming. And it's coming quickly. Do you see how this is the Knight of Swords and I was talking about rapid change? Grand Rapids could be significant for somebody. That's kind of standing out to me in my mind now. Some of you, somebody is coming in like you're receiving some random surprising communication from somebody from your past. Others of you. Cancer, I don't know, child, why I'm kind of feeling like you in an energy where you can really finesse your way into getting whatever you want right now, child, if you believe it. Six of Cups makes me also think about uh, finessing. <laughs> okay, somebody could be trying to finesse you, though, Cancer, so be careful about that. Be wise, okay? This is harmony. This is ease. This is peace. These are new memories being made. What's the universe? If you in a relationship right now, Spirit say don't be in no energy of overcompromising. Some of y'all are in relationships. This is the King of Pentacles now. Others of you, there's a new relationship. It's like I'm hearing coming together or getting together. You about to be getting together with somebody. This going to be some surprising shit for you, Cancer, because some of y'all like, you're not even really looking for love as the queen. Maybe back here you were queen of cups. But slowly but surely, it's like you have let that idea go. And so some of y'all now in this queen of wands, king of wands, you're in a leadership energy. You're in an energy of like, I'm just out here in my bag, okay, doing me, socializing with whoever you feel like socializing with, child, doing whatever you want to do, manifesting new life experiences, new adventures. And love is not maybe like the top thing on your list for some of y'all, but guess what? You're manifesting it. <laughs> Okay, others of you, this is if you've been looking for a new job, you're you're being aligned with a new job, a very stable, abundant job, King of Pentacles. I feel like if you are in business, you could be receiving a lot of attention, a lot of growth within your business. The sun is making me also think of growth. Okay, some of you guys are getting promoted on jobs. Some of you guys, you may be thinking about moving or you're 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 no longer thinking about it. You're now putting in the action, the footwork. So, you know, you're making the movement. This could be packing up. This could be I'm looking for places. I'm talking to people about, you know, money as far as like, OK, rent or you know, whatever it is that you have to do, whatever prerequisites to make this move, to qualify for this, to qualify for that. Some of you guys, this could be you 
like getting a U-Haul child and you packing your shit up, Cancer, you're taking the action. It's no longer a thought. Mm. I'm also hearing unbelievable advances. Somebody could be getting an advance on a job or some sort of bonus on a job. Or this is like you advancing within your career, advancing at work. And it's unbelievable to you. Spirit say, believe it. Ha! What's the six of swords for cancer? There's going to be plenty for you to celebrate. That's what I'm hearing. What's the six of swords? Six, six, six could also be significant because we got the six of cups came out twice. Now we got the six of pentacles clarifying the six of swords. So sixes represent your manifestations. 144, Cancer, you are chosen. Ooh, you are chosen one, Cancer. Do you know the blessings, the love, the abundance, the miracles that God wants to give his chosen people? the chosen on the planet and are you open to receiving all the wealth and abundance of love peace security support that spirit desires you to have sometimes when we are so used to feeling down and out, feeling backstabbed, betrayed. It's like we don't understand that subconsciously you seek out, you start seeking out those types of connections. And you may say, why would I seek that type of connection? Why would I literally go out looking for people who are going to betray me and let me down? It's not something that you're doing consciously, my love. There are there's another part of your brain operating and you got to give that part of your mind more credit than you do, because it is more it, it controls the majority of why you walking around breathing any damn way. So why would you think that it does not play that much of a role in even governing the connections that you make in your life? You think that you're choosing this person when it comes to your own free will but no it's your subconscious that's taking charge if you grew up in family dynamics where you felt like the outcast you felt like your whatever your feelings were didn't matter you know you felt overlooked you will nine times out of ten seek out connections subconsciously that remind you of those dynamics you probably got friends that you can say oh you remind me of my sibling you remind me of my sister you remind me of my brother you remind me of my cousin and these are people who you don't even get along with so that's a red flag as soon as they remind your ass of them people but you still deal with them anyway you gotta ask yourself why oh this person reminds me of my mom they remind me of this or that and it's like um if that's not a good thing what's your relationship with these people that these so-called individuals you end up meeting after the fact what's your relationship with the people they reminding you of it's just like you get out of a relationship and the next person that you meet, a lot of times you be like, man, this motherfucker remind me of my ex. You know why? Because you sought after that type of connection. You have patterned yourself into believing subconsciously that that's what you deserve. And that's what has to change. That's what has to shift. That's what has to be rewritten. And it takes time. That doesn't happen overnight. And sometimes you, you feel like, once again, oh, I'm going through, let's take it from people and just look at life circumstances, hardships. Why me? This is to strengthen you. This is to help you break free of the chains surrounding your mind. Break free from poverty. Break free from not having like the confidence in yourself. How are you going to build certain muscles up within you if you're not challenged? 
When you are in the gym, if you just stick with the five pound weight, child, you're not going to get anywhere. <laughs> you're going to have to keep increasing the weight. You know why? Because the muscles got to be shredded and then they rebuild. If you want to build, you know what I'm saying? You can't just stick with the same exercise routine. Your body, your muscles, they get used to that. Memory. Muscle memory is real. So therefore, you got to switch it up if you actually want to get benefits from working out, being active. You know what I'm saying? So is the same within your life. I must break. I, I know it sounds bad, but sometimes... Things within you have to be broken. Your ego has to be broke down in order to build a new you. And it's not punishment. Literally right now, parts of your ego are being broken down. So that the real you can shine through. Sometimes you go through shit that's like crippling, honey. It's crushing to your soul. And you're just like, well, damn, why would spirit take me through this? And it may be hard to understand, but these are the ways. And it's like you're going to be stronger from whatever this is that you have gone through. Or for some of you that you are going through, you're going to be stronger on the other side. You're going to be wiser on the other side. And that's what the lesson is all about. I see something is being granted to you. This is some sort of decision being made in your favor. Finances. Some of y'all, this is something in regards to money. Finances. Bridget. <clears throat> Somebody's name could be Bridget. Why is the hierarchy here? This is giving government, higher institutions when it comes to financial institutions. What's the hierarchy? Banks. Spirit say, don't be in the energy of rushing your growth. Because when you try to rush growth, all you do is put yourself back in pain, is put yourself back in painful situations. And whatever has been stressing you, spirit is like, have faith over whatever this ten of swords is. Get the ten of swords out of your mind, meaning don't overthink it. All you got to do is stand on your faith. Stand in the energy of trust. When it comes to the divine guidance that is always navigating you, Cancer, spirit can see what you can't see. And some of y'all be thinking that something is going to take forever, Knight of Pentacles. But with the Knight of Swords, spirit say, you're going to find yourself out of a negative situation sooner than you thought. You're going to find yourself in that relationship that you've been desiring sooner than you thought. You're going to find your finances turning around for you sooner than you thought. Can I get somebody to type, it's happening sooner than I think? It's all happening for me sooner than I think. For those of y'all in live, you can type it in the chat. For those catching the playback, feel free to type it in the comments down below. It is happening sooner than I think. I'm trying to tell you. Anastasia. You got to understand your mind is either going to work against you, which is this ten of swords shit, or it's going to work for you, Cancer, the Hierophant. 
it's either going to work against you when it comes to the things you're trying to manifest or it's going to work for you how do you get your mind to work for you faith is a big factor when you can't figure out how some stuff is going to work in your favor that's when you lean on the divine that's when you give it over to spirit you don't have to carry any type of burdens by yourself especially not no mental burdens because this is a mental burden that you're saying goodbye to once and for all that's the change you see she got that one sword in her hand that's the sword of clarity it's the ace of swords okay I'm trying to tell you, child. I'm trying to tell you, spirit. Let's get one on the sundress. We got to be in this energy of allowing our minds and mentalities to work for us. To bring us what it is that we want. When you trust that spirit is going to deliver, spirit delivers every time. Gemini energy is very significant. Some of y'all can have Gemini in your a uh, Gemini moon. Maybe even Gemini sun could be significant. I don't know. Maybe you got a sun that is a Gemini, right? Or a daughter. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Some of y'all could have uh, Gemini, rising, Venus, Mercury, <laughs> any of your personal planets, okay? What is the sun dress? Gemini is communication, as I said before. So some of you are receiving some communication. You walking away from some sort of disappointing circumstance once again, Cancer. It's like Spirit is saying you keep expecting something to disappoint you, something to not work in your favor. And each time you end up walking the hell away and leaving whatever the disappointing circumstance that was supposed to block you, that was supposed to uh, stop you from moving forward, you end up getting past it. Even if you don't know how. With the moon being back there, even when you can't see, how am I going to get past this damn situation? How am I going to make this work? Spirit be like, you don't always got to know how. And you don't got to stress your mind trying to figure out the how. Three of wands. Just know you're moving forward. Some of y'all, this is travel. You could be working in foreign places, travel to foreign places. Some of y'all could work for a company that's like international or something. Your ships are coming in. Ooh, come on with the three of pentacles and we started with three, three, three. Money is coming, Cancer resources are coming random opportunities jobs they're coming towards you what did i say i feel i i think that's like the first part of the title either way it goes it is something like that random opportunities <laughs> Okay, and it's not going to miss you. So you don't have to stress yourself out about, oh, what's going to pass me by? Nothing. You're seeing rapid change, the chariot. Things are happening suddenly for you. That's the divine judgment on your life. I just picked this deck up and this was at the bottom. So I felt the need to show it. 
You see how the sun is behind him? This is enlightenment. Knowing that nothing can stop you. Know that there is no greater force than the force that is within you. Can I get somebody to type that? I like that. There is no greater force than the force that is within me. Period. Somebody could drive trucks. Some of y'all, this like a U-Haul and you are moving. I'm seeing somebody traveling like to a new state. So across state lines. Um... Some of y'all could maybe just have a big car, like a truck that you drive. You know what I'm saying? Big trucks. You don't like little cars low to the ground. <laughs> that ain't going to be for everybody, but somebody going to resonate with that child. Okay. But this is enlightenment. This is trust. That everything is working in your favor, Cancer. Forward movement. That's what I'm hearing. The hermit. Continue to trust in the divine. Continue to put your faith in and, and do it with the element of free will. You know what I'm saying? Use your free will to trust in spirit. To trust in yourself. To trust that spirit is going to guide you and see you through any circumstance. Past any obstacle. Because there is nothing that can stop you. I'm just saying, honey. I'm going to leave it there. Those are your messages, my dear. There's a pot of gold at the end of whatever circumstance you're going through. Follow the rainbow, cancer. <laughs> If the message is resonating and you haven't already given this video a thumbs up, definitely like the video. Also, feel free to share below in the comments. And I will catch y'all later in another one. Until then, take care, Cancer.